What's up guys, and welcome back to my Dark Souls 1 item randomizer use what you see playthrough. I've got my maiden gloves on that I totally didn't forget to equip last time. Uh, I was thinking I could go explore the lower Undedberg and loot the items there, because I kind of just ran past the area last time. But now that this bonfire is out, because I kind of forget, forgot that will happen, uh, I probably shouldn't go through there, through near the merchant. And also, while I'm here at the Firelink Shrine, I guess I could go visit the Northern Undead Asylum, too. Because I didn't make a trip there yet. Sure, uh, I, don't, I don't have the key to open that one door right now, but there's still some other things to find, so... Hopefully something nice. Mm, technically, I could attempt at killing the stray demon, too, but... Uh, kind of not. Not really confident that I could do it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, I really don't think I can beat the stray demon with this uh, unupgraded winged spear with my stats. I mean, of course, I can always try, but it probably won't end too well. Though, uh, since the titanite shards are so cheap, I guess I could upgrade this to plus 5 and maybe go defeat the moonlight butterfly also, because uh, I otherwise kind of cleared the dark root garden area, so I guess I could defeat the boss and see what I find, you know, going beyond him. Eat. I have no idea. So here we are at Northern Undead Asylum again. Also, I forgot to mention last time the crow. Snugly? The crow? Oh, I'm not really sure about the name. The crow, anyway. Uh, the items that you can trade with her have also been randomized in this version. Also, I hate Torch Hallows. Especially with the attack when they rush at you and just flail their torch around and it usually ends up you taking a shitload of damage. I do not want to kill Hallows unless I have to. I think Torch Hallows might have different drops, but I don't want any more of those great swords and tower shields that I've been getting. Going towards my starting cell, there will be the Black Knight. I really probably should have rested at the bonfire, because if I die now, I think I'll go to Undead Parish. So I guess I better make sure I don't die. Eh, not exactly doing massive damage, but I'll try to take it easy. One stupid mistake there, but if I didn't know better, I'd almost think that I have learned how to kill these guys. Huh, <sighs> Twinkling Titanite, so nothing special, but oh, Moonlight Rope from here, where I usually get the peculiar doll. Yeah, nothing too special, but I huh, guess I can't complain about free upgrade materials. So yeah, Stray Demon is walking there. Ah, not exactly walking, it seems. Kinda just standing there. And now that I have visited here, I think I might be able to rest at the bonfire without alerting any of the hollows that I don't want to kill. I guess not. Well, I guess I just have to hope they don't drop anything. And actually, yeah, since I'm at the Undead Asylum, they might not even be able to drop anything. Maybe, perhaps, hopefully.
There we go. And then I guess I could try out killing Oscar. Oh fuck! I kind of expected him to be a bit higher up. I'll probably be able to do this too, but eh, probably not as smoothly as the Black Knight though. I'm seriously, seriously, usually not this good at parrying. Guess I'm just instantly in the zone, so to speak. So normally I'd get the... Oh, the crest shield, I think it's called. The shield that Oscar is using. But let's see what I'll get this time. I think that killed him. Soul of a lost undead. That's actually kind of sad. And there was also this other Black Knight over here. Though I guess I could have taken the shorter route here too. Oh fuck, he was right there. There we go. Let's see. Another twinkling titanite. That's a pretty interesting coincidence. Again, not exactly creative rewards, but still funny. I can't complain and funny that I got the same item from both of them. At least I think I should get a different item from all of them. I'm kind of risking my souls here, but I guess I might as well try out the Stray Demon, though I really don't think it's likely that I'll beat him. Nineteen damage. Let's just put it this way, that if I'll beat him, her, it, this will take a while. Okay, yeah, fuck this, I think I'll just homeward bone out of here once I get a good opportunity. This should be enough. After all, I do have 4,000 souls, so I'm not that far away from a level up. Totally almost did not die there. So off to Undead Parish and towards Darkroot Garden. And before I go to the Darkroot Garden and face the Moonlight Butterfly, I guess I might as well check out, yeah. Black Eye Orb and Soul of a Nameless Soldier. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to check that if I actually get the black eye orb here or somewhere completely different. Because it would affect my progress. Well, not really the game progress, but you know, restoring the Firekeeper here 
Yeah, it would be pretty different if I had no idea where to find the black eye orb either. Alright, I could give the Dark Ember to Andre. <laughs> Kinda of forgot. Great potential indeed. Hmm, I guess I could get a few extra souls by buying that and then using it. But, 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 I was meant to do something completely different. Yeah, I was meant to reinforce the Winged Spear a little. Yeah, I guess I might as well make it. Make it plus five. And now I just gotta hope that I can I won't find any new weapons before I kill the butterfly. This is actually going surprisingly well right now because I think uh Yeah, I have decent magic defense, which I think the butterfly only does. Magic damage, I mean, I'm fast rolling and I have a weapon that I can use. So, all in all, nice. So, almost to the bother of lie, I could summon Witch Beatrice to help me here. And yeah, I kind of would have to summon her here and to the Four Kings battle if I wanted to uh, loot her corpse, I guess you could say, later on, but yeah, I don't think. I don't think it's that important if I miss a few items because I don't summon an NPC to a bo two boss fights. Okay, I might have some magic resistance, but it's still recommended not to get hit by all the attacks. I guess it would have been smart to come kill this asshole with the giant blacksmith hammer too, but I mean before I lost it, but uh, ah well, there's no guarantee that I won't find a new weapon after killing this, so yeah, I guess I can't really say that it was a bad idea to go kill the gargoyles first. Yikes, that downward magic thing is not very really nice. Finally you're coming down. And finally you're dead. <laughs> Ring of favor and protection. Okay then, this is cool. 
so off to the slot you go. HP, stamina, and equip load. And 10,000 souls. This went very, very nicely. But of course, getting the ring at this point means that I'm gonna lose it pretty soon because it's a second ring that I've found. Okay, so I got a new weapon, Beatrice's Catalyst. For fuck's sake. <laughs> and I have no sorcery, so I guess I'm just bashing everything with this. <laughs> but oh well, at least I got I got some out of some use out of the wind spear. As a matter of fact, I do have a couple of sorceries that I could use, because I can actually use the catalyst, uh, but I don't have any sorceries that I could use with my intelligence level, and I'm not sure it's worth it to put any points into it. Though I guess I could use heavy soul arrows with just one point investment, but still, nah. more strength. So now to Lower Undedburg. And since I rested at the Ow. first undead, first undead burger bonfire, I thought I could restock on my titanite shards. Thank you kindly. Oh, uh, just to make sure that you don't happen to sell. Ow. Don't happen to sell. No, you don't. I was thinking if I could find the normal soul arrow, but you know, with my stats, I wouldn't really be doing a whole lot of damage anyway but better than hitting with this. But uh, at least I can at least go do a couple of suicide runs around the lower Undeburg and hope for something better, at least before fighting Capra Demon. So something from around the torch hallows if I can get, make it fast then because I fucking hate these guys transient curses and giant gauntlets the defense is always nice but I'm not a fan of the weight yeah meat rolling once again. But a well, off to find more loot. So normally you get the mail breaker from one of these houses, I think it's that one. But this time something different, I hope. Oh! Iaito! Yeah, I have no idea how to pronounce it. And the crest key, which I think you need to open the door. Uh, you need the key to open the door to go in the DLC. So, again, a very nice item to have because I need the key to unlock the Calamite boss fight. Just making sure it actually is the key. I'll just have to trust it is. But yeah, that EI yeah, can I use it? Can I use it? I cannot. Oh fuck. Oh, 20 dexterity. That's way higher than I expected. 
That kind of sucks. That oh well. I could actually check if it at least does more damage than the catalyst. Ah, it doesn't. Oh, actually. Ah, fuck it. I'm kind of just messing around here. Yeah, it does have a bleed, but I'm not sure you can actually inflict bleed with a weapon that you can't use. And even if you can, it's not going to be easy if you bounce off with every hit. So I think you get the thief set, bandit set, something from around here, maybe this house. Yeah, but I'm not going to make it in, in right now. Fuck. <laughs> also something from this barrel, I guess I will try getting it first. Ghost great arrows. Well, those don't really do me much good. Was I parry? Oh. I kind of skipped the thief set building for now, but because there's another item over here. I would just try to get it because it could be a weapon that I could use. The orange charred ring. You can get it from here. I mean, of course you can get it from here because the item randomizer, but I was... Yeah, okay, that's cool. I can walk on a lava with, that, with, with taking very little damage now. And the old witch's ring is the older one, so it gets replaced. I'm not sure I can actually discard the orange charred ring because it's kind of a necessary item in the game. But I'll just not use it. Until of course I have to again. To progress. As I think I stated in my rules. If it's possible for me to inflict bleed without being able to use the weapon, then I'm sure not doing it very fast. Fucking finally! I wanted to kill this guy in the off chance that I might get an item out of him, but I guess not. And yeah, I don't have the key to the depths, so I can't explore further that path. So I guess I'll just try to get the thief set now. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. Unless I'll get backstabbing and get pulled through these guys again. No. But I'm still far from stuck, if that's what you're thinking, because I can always just go to flight down through the Valley of Drakes again. There's a, like a shitload of items for me to find there, and the Great Hollow. Of course I wouldn't like to go to the Great Hollow without being the warp out. Hmm, what else? I could try running past the Hydra and access the Darkwood Forest. Even without the Crest of Artorias. Uh, there are still items at New Londo Ruins for me to pick up and... Yeah, there's still, still generally a lot for me to find. It's just that it takes a while for me to actually reach all those places. Ah, fuck, I'm stuck. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, I'm kind of proud of getting out of there. Ah, humanity! This is not good! Oh, the humanity! Ah, just get eaten by Capra's dogs quick. Yay! Also, never mind me, I just wanted to check if you can actually disable the boss HP by disabling, disabling the hood. So, I guess Lower Angedberg is kind of a... Eh, didn't really give me much to work with. So... A trip to New London Ruins. Now I do have some transient curses with me. Oh, there's also that item. I don't really want to get it because it's suicide. I do have a, uh, transient curses with me, but I don't have a weapon that I can actually kill the ghosts with, so... Uh, it's kind of a use, uh, kind of a waste to actually use them. So again, I'll just try to run past and probably get killed. But with my giant gauntlets, I have become unstoppable with my slight poise. Hey, I'm already further than I was before. Spooked. Something from here. Eastern Gauntlets. Okay. Kind of a shame. I... I mean the... Ah, fuck. There's an item behind this corner, but I'll open the shortcut first. I guess the gauntlets that I just got are... Man, what's wrong with my frame rate? Up oh, are lighter, but... Oh, Firekeeper Soul. And a rare Ring of Sacrifice. Oh, fuck, this means I have to replace my Ring of Favor and Protection. And I can't. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Motherfuckers. But yeah, I ca also can't. Uh, can't actually... Upgrade my Estus Flask because the Firekeeper is dead. But oh well. Oh fuck. No! Ghost hugs. I'll try to get the item behind you. Great combustion. Ah, if I had a Pyromancy Glove that might be worth something. I have no idea how I got out of alive there. From there. Ah, fuck, I know I'll never pick up that item if I don't go pick it up now. Target shield. Well, I guess it's... Oh, I actually survived. Target shield is better than... A lot of things it could have been. I guess I should be able to change it. And I can still make it a bit further. Further into the area. First dropping down here. Don't do fucking... I'm not sure I'm actually able to climb this. Okay, this ladder seriously has some... Ah. <laughs> Issues with my frame rate. All oh, right, then I lost the, ring. the new ring too. And I'm back at Underberg. Yay! And also, yeah, I think this still is my older ring. So when I get a new one, I guess I'll replace that. Fuck. But I guess I can still make another trip there. Now that all the ghosts aren't following me, I should be able to make it a bit further.
seriously, just going on this ladder makes some noticeable issues with the frame rate. But oh well, I got further than I was before, and a lot of new items await me. I could try jumping there, but I know that I'll always miss the jump, so I guess it's safer if I go this way. Ghosts! Oh! Shuttle and the white titanite slab. Actually, I'm not sure if I can use the shuttle either, but... Hornstain's gauntlets and giant armor. I'll just... Get some peace and quiet before... Equipping my new stuff. Shotel, which I can use. 14 dexterity. Giant armor. Ornstein's gauntlets. And yeah, I think that's it. How the fuck am I still mid-rolling with these items? Oh, there are only four. Okay, well, ah, I was expecting Ornstein's gauntlets to be slightly heavier. And I guess I do have a light hat. Light hat, legs, shield. And a weapon, so I guess those kind of help keeping my weight kind of low. From the composite post place, another rare ring of sacrifice. And a Cacadisius. Yeah, no idea. Kite shield. And I guess you get replaced. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't drop it. Fuck! But I'm not sure what happens. Yeah, I'll get a new one from somewhere. From Centipede. The demon Centipede, whatever. Centipede demon. If I really need one. No use crying about it. That's how the rules go. And yeah, I need the key to the seal from Inward. But I don't have the Lord Vessel, so I would have to kill him. Which I'm not 100% confident that I'm able to do. At least not with this weapon unupgraded. And I also don't want to kill him because he's a merchant. And I could actually check out his wares if I can make it alive. Brass coat, let's send a Leo ring. Would you please not come this far? I'll once again equip those in a bit. Just getting another item from here first. Oh fuck. This is not too good for my survival. Okay, I'd say I still have a chance of reaching inward. A pretty slim chance, but I'm gonna try anyway. So far, so good. Yeah, actually made it. That's good. So, equipping before I forget. I got the Wanderer Hood, the Brass Gauntlets, and the Leo Ring. I actually probably should, you know, keep the older one on the right and the newer one on the left to remember better. Still mid rolling, which is good. Well, let's see, let's see. Oh, I'm not cursed. Did you motherfucker kill Solaire? But yeah, wood bolts and iron helm. Well, if those are what he's selling, then I don't really mind if he dies. But I'm not sure I'm able to kill him. Hmm.
I'm so sorry, Inward. I wouldn't want to kill you, but... But I wanna. I just realized that because of the randomizer, I won't necessarily get the key of the seal from him. Key to the seal, whatever. So I kinda killed him completely in vain. Fuck. Oh man, I love this playthrough. But I got the gauntlets of favor out of it. And a death by ghosts. Uh, I have so many humanities, I'll just use one to heal myself. So I'll just slide down and go grab the couple of more <laughs> items that I know I can find here. <laughs> I'm a horrible monster. Oh, I... Survived! I can get it, I can get it! It's a soul of a proud knight! It's worthless! Well, it's not worthless, but... <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> so, like... Technically, I think I could maybe fight Capra Demon with this shotel. I mean, I'm mid rolling, I have a shield and a weapon I can use, so. Yeah, I think I can actually do this. Just getting. getting some more Titanite shards while I'm here. I might, of course, make make it to Andre and upgrade the shuttle first. Ow. <laughs> oh, free souls. I'm not sure I actually checked what, I mean, all the items that he was selling. Are these infinite? No, thank God, <laughs> because. Those would be pretty good that cheaply. But I guess I could but I guess I could get some extra souls. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And of course those Titanite shirts which I uh, forgot already. Thank you, Khan. Thank you. I don't want to drag out this episode too much, so I guess I should maybe quit for now. Uh, next time, upgrading the shuttle, shuttle, killing Capra Demon and hopefully making some actual progress. Of course, there's absolutely no guarantee that killing Capra Demon will help me either, but eh, he's kind of an early game boss, so I want to kill him early. So yeah, hopefully some actual progress next time, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys sometime maybe. Bye!